banded chop. We're gonna do this exercise in standing and this variation of the chop is gonna be pulling from low to high. I'm using one continuous circular resistance band. If you don't have this and you have handles on either side, you can attach your band uh, by passing the one handle through the other handle and looping the band through just like you can with a long circular band. To get started, place the band down around the height of your knee or just below. Now, depending on how far away you step from the pole, that will increase the resistance as you go through your low to high banded chop. I would like you to have some resistance as you chop up and some resistance as you bring your hands back down to that starting position. If you have a handle, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna grab onto the handle and then you can loop your other hand over top. With the band, I like to do the exact same thing. My hand is inside, the band is coming across my palm. I grip around the band and then I also place my other hand over top. You're gonna stand beside your pole, hands down by your hip on the inside, little bit of a bend in your knee. I'm rotating my spine and my shoulders towards the pole and with bent elbows or straighter arms, I'm going to take that band and my hands up to the opposite shoulder over the opposite hip. Again, if I need to, I can keep my elbows bent and chop that band closer to my body or I can straighten out my arms and chop the band that way. And as you go through your rotations, you might actually squat down a little bit and then stand up using your legs to help you lift your arms and chop against that resistance. So from the side, here is the demonstration of my bent elbows keeping that band in a little bit closer. You might also think about I'm punching from low to high. And then here is the longer arm variation. 